This is the capture card right here that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. Um, it has an HDMI input and output port there. It has a USB 3.0 and it comes with ports for a headset and a microphone. <sighs> so I'm not going to make this intro part longer than it has to be because uh, I don't want this video to be that long. So we're going to get right into it. All right, here we are. So this capture card came with two cables. It came with this USB 3.0 cable right here that we'll need, and it came with this HDMI cable. Now, um, to get this working, we actually need two HDMI cables. We need one for the input and one for the output. So uh, I don't assume that that should be a problem for most people, um, but it is worth noting that it comes with one, you need to. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hook up the hardware that we need. <clears throat> so if you're completely new to this, like I was a couple days ago, um, you may not know this, but the hardware that you need is a PC or a laptop, and you need a TV to monitor whatever you're recording on, obviously, and you actually need a console. So we have all three of those things, which is good. <clears throat> all right. So we need to plug in the hardware appropriately. So the first thing we do is we have to get something down. I have an HDMI in the TV and there's an input and output right here. The input is for the console. So the HDMI that's going to be plugged into there is gonna go in the input and the output is gonna go into the TV. So we're gonna put the output in the TV right now. And now we're going to take this HDMI cable that it came with and connect this to the switch. All right, so this is the output going into the TV and this is the input going into the switch. So we have our HDMI cables in properly. Now we have to connect this and this is what the USB is for. <clears throat> so we find the USB port right there in the laptop. Now we stick that in there. All right, then we grab this and stick it into the USB port on the capture card. Just like that. And so uh, if everything is working properly like it should be, um, there should be a red light that appears next to the USB. Uh, indicating that uh, power is running through it and it should be connected properly. Um, I got this one off of Amazon for like, it was literally $20. I just researched an HDMI capture card and it was one of the first ones that came up. Uh, this is what it looks like just for reference if you want to get the same one that I'm using in this tutorial. Just for um, um, exact reference, this is what it is. But yeah. So, there is another thing we have to do before we can actually start recording, and it involves actually getting on the PC and doing things, so let me show you that. All right, so before we can do very much with this, we need OBS on our computer. So if you don't have it already, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. Just go online. I, like, I literally searched for OBS Studio, and it's the first thing that popped up. So you would just go to the download right here and choose your OS. I and mean, it's pretty straightforward. OBS is a pretty simple uh, software, uh, but we do need it if we're going to use the capture card to record anything. And uh, after you download it, it'll appear on your desktop and you can start using it. All right, upon opening and configuring OBS, this is what it's going to look like. I'm actually going to turn down desktop audio so it doesn't uh, repeat what I'm saying back to me. Okay, uh, so this is what it looks like. It's uh, actually pretty straightforward. Um, let me turn down the volume real quick. All right, so um, once you get it working, which obviously you'll see um, when it starts doing this, um, you're going to want to go to sources and you're gonna to wanna to do a video capture device. And I already have mine configured, but I'm gonna do a new one just for the sake of this video. So you're gonna to wanna to do video capture device right there. 
And you could name it whatever you want. Uh, I just kept the default. So you do OK. And you kind of just OK your way through all of this. So um, for this part, uh, you want to select the device that you're on. So you would do the USB 3.0 video. And at this point, like, you need to make sure it's actually connected or it won't show up. <laughs> so you got to do that. And at this point, you'll get a black screen, but that's perfectly normal. That's what you want. Okay. So then you would scroll down a little bit. You really can kind of just okay your way through this part uh, for the most part. Uh, for audio output mode, again, this video is mostly just geared toward uh, setting up the capture card itself. We're not going to go too far into audio, but for the sake of setting this up, you're going to want to do output desktop audio direct sound uh, just for the purposes of uh, what we're doing that's going to be the setting that you want okay so then you do okay and now it's set up so that is the source that you want and then the next thing we do is going to be the fun part because now we get to actually turn it on and watch it work another step that i forgot to mention in um, setting up the source for the capture card is at the very bottom, there's gonna be this use custom audio device and uh, that will open up this and you want to select the uh, capture card out of the dropdown menu. If you want to um, record audio from um, whatever you're capturing as well as audio from you talking if you were like in a microphone or something like that. All right, so now I've turned on the TV and connected the switch to it. So we have our switch on the TV and lo and behold, it's not fitting the screen correctly. And this is just default thing. Um, if you see this, don't panic about it. You can literally just change the size of the screen like this. So you can get it to fit, get this red within the blue here. Just like that. All right, and now we are capturing the full screen. So this is what OBS is capturing within this blue right here. Okay, so that's good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn display capture off right now, uh, just for FPS, I guess. <clears throat> and all right, so now we have our thing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn desktop audio back up. All right, so now, if I make any sort of noise at all, you can see that it is being detected by OBS. So that is good. Um, and at this point, uh, to start recording a video, you would just hit start recording right here. And then it would actually begin to record everything you want it to. So uh, yeah. It's also worth noting that after you are done uh, filming a video uh, on OBS using this, um, you would hit this button again to end the recording. And then the file directory uh, for your recording is gonna show up at this part of the screen down here. And so if we just hit exit real quick and on Windows, this is where you would find it. You would go on to File Explorer and literally just go into videos and your captures will appear right here. All right, and that is gonna do it uh, for this video. So like I said at the very beginning, I didn't want this to be very long um, because in all reality, um, you just plug a, f a few cables in and uh, configure some settings. Um, now, I had some trouble with the audio uh, when I was setting this up, but fortunately OBS is, um, from what I find, it's, it's pretty user-friendly. So um, it shouldn't give you too much trouble if you tinker with the properties a little bit. So yeah, um, if you do that custom device thing uh, that I put in, into the video, it shouldn't give you, uh, it shouldn't give you very much trouble. And you can also adjust the volume of each 
audio source in OBS as well, but now I'm getting into audio. And that's not what this video is about, uh, which means this video is over. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, maybe you learned something. I know I did. I had a great time. So I'm gonna see you in the next one. Now that I have all of this working, I just need a microphone so I can start filming the playthrough that I want to. But until then, I've been Scotty and uh, this has just been a right blast. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.